Okay, I also wanted to share one last thing because I'm going to print out the next one on the SD card and go home and hope it doesn't just, just, just come off the bed or whatever, but I need to get another one done and do some testing, so that's what I'm going to do. But I want you to notice that it gets caught on this front face, if, if you can see that, and uh, basically what that's from is in our slicer we have a, uh, a setting called jitter. I think it's called jitter seam hiding I'm sorry seam hiding and what that does is is it moves the start stop position of a new path to uh, inside or outside the model and and right now it's it's on the inside and it's got it's building up this little nub on the edge and every time it goes over to the edge it sort of drags on it So you can see the whole piece shifting whenever it hits that that nub right there on the edge I don't know if you can tell but I can tell um, and because this is extra thick right here at this seam uh, because the material is not coming out it's actually going in it's piling up and getting higher and then it makes a little uh, curl right there at that corner so every time it gets to that corner it uh, drags and it it can cause a lot of problems um, another thing I want to note is that I don't know if you can tell from this video but on the legs we have not only a change of color because of the less material but we can tell that possibly our extruder was getting a little too cold and not being able to push out enough material at this point so I'm gonna raise the temperature up maybe one or two more degrees Celsius for this next print so I'll be printing at 212 uh, for this material and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes I'm changing my seam hiding uh, it was at zero I'm setting it to five uh, because I know at one I have nubs I don't want nubs but I don't want problems with uh, curling edges either so we'll see how that goes and I'll let you get I'll let you guys know and I think this will be the last last problem I'm gonna have to deal with uh, besides uh, remembering that I need to slice and try and print the right models so I'll go ahead and show you guys what the printer looks like right now I printed out a little sort of bracket holder for the Rambo um, everything's been sort of cabled up uh, I just sort of decided to go ahead and make up my own little pieces to connect the SD because the ones I saw the SD and LCD because the ones I saw were huge uh, and it's I really didn't need too much support I've got a bunch of cables that run behind this and plus I designed it so that it's sitting on the table uh, so it's supported from underneath um, and it's thick enough here at the corner that it you know it doesn't flex this way too much uh, it works pretty good and that allows me to run my cords right underneath it and so you can see everything that comes out of the board uh, I thought that would be cool you can see I got this crappy huge fan uh, but I'm gonna replace that with a different fan at some point uh, smaller fan much smaller fan and uh, but I needed it I'm I'm uh, I had some pretty hot stepper drivers so I really needed to cool that off um, yeah there it is uh, the whole thing so I was kind of hoping to show all of the electronics off without having them be in the way. So, and I've also built it with this sort of scorpion look before, where it is attached to the Bowden and it allows it to slip on a, a lightly tightened uh, uh, zip tie. But uh, there's the machine, 
as you can tell it's much better this time this time around uh, you can see that I had a lot of stringing one of the legs came off of the last print none of the legs came off this one they don't look like they are the stringing is much less I did have some fall off on the edge but um, yeah so there you go it looks like we're really close uh, basically you're just gonna have to know that you're gonna have to tweak your settings for your slicer uh, your speed uh, just a couple things and those are the things you're gonna learn when you just start printing stuff out so environmental concerns are a big deal this room is climate controlled so I can't really get it very warm in here because it's, they've got all the servers in here and stuff um, but uh, yeah there you go I think the next print will look better but we'll see